G'day and welcome guys. Today we're going to be changing the brakes on the Fiesta uh, just in prep for the track day coming up. So I've enlisted the help of two mechanics, no pressure. Uh, I'm going to jack it up, we'll go through what we're putting on the car. Um, and yeah, some pretty good stuff. Here we've got some Hell HEL braided brake lines. So they're going to go on the car. Got some DBA 4000 series T3 discs, so they're a nice slotted disc. Um, we've got some Forza FP3 brake pads and some Motor RBF 600 fluid to go in as well. We're also going to grease the brake sliders and the back of the pads too. So while the car gets jacked up and put on jack stands, um, they go around unlocking all the wheel nuts as well and then we'll get the wheels off and we'll get started let's have a look at what we're changing today we've got this line that's been changed um, for one of the braided ones changing the discs to the slotted DBAs and changing our brake pads and when we get these sliders out we'll give them a grease as well the car's nearly three years old and I'm not sure if it's been done before so I don't think it's been done in services by Ford, so we'll get it done. That tool is awesome. And that's one caliper push back. Those sliders look good too. They're not rusty, they're still nice and nice and clean. But we'll still lube them up before we put them back in. Don't forget to give your, your new discs a good clean. Get rid of all that grease that stops them from going rusty when they're being shipped and being stored. And then they're ready to go on. The old ones were a pain to get off. The guys had to smack them with a hammer all around. And how good do they look? These are the old discs, they've got quite a bit of a lip on them um, and they're going in the bin because yeah, they, they were stuck on there, they didn't just pull off. Guys had to, started hammering around the inside here, nothing was happening so they had to whack the disc to free them up. What's interesting though is these, these pads are three years old, these are the standard ones and there's heaps of meat left on them. They've worn a little bit unevenly, but not too much. And now we're lubing up the sliders. But they're in heaps better condition than others I've seen that have been changed. They're still nice and shiny, rather than being all nice and rusty and crusty. So that's good. Next will be the pads going in. All right, just a bit of knowledge for everyone. Um, the new pads don't actually specify which one's the outer and the inner. You can obviously tell with these used ones. The Ford ones have got outer on there. Um, and the inner one, you can see where the piston sits. But another way to tell is there's two dots on the outer one here, and they sit right down the bottom. And the inner one has got the four little protruding dots so they, when you get your new um, pads, they are gonna be your outer ones, uh, your inner ones, sorry, that, that sit against the piston. I mean, like so all up from jacking the car up, it's taken these guys about half an hour, working one on each side. Now they're just gonna sw switch sides and make sure they're all tight. But um, yeah, we've got pads and discs. So we're gonna move on to all four lines. And then we're gonna, Put the new fluid in but these guys are flying and these discs look awesome so chris has got the old brake line out this side 
what we're doing. We're fitting it up here first and then we'll bend it around to where it needs to be through the bracket and then attach it to the back of the caliper. We'll go through all the bolts and everything, all the sizes after. So this is basically the finished product. We've got some nice braided lines. Got the fours of pads in there. I don't think that's gonna show. And the DBA 4000 series T3 discs. So we're gonna go around and do all of them and then get them bled. And then we'll go and bed them in. And that should be job done. Pop it up. So this was the last brake line to go on. So the the booklet for the brake line, so the torque specs for these bolts, are between 14 foot pounds as a minimum, and no more than 24 foot pounds. But they look awesome. We're just keeping the standard rear discs. They don't have a lip on them at all. Um, standard pads. They've got heaps of meat left. You don't really use them all that much. So we've upgraded the fronts that do all the work. And now we're just going to bleed through the modal RBF 600 fluid and get the wheels on and then we'll go do some bedding in. So that's it. We've fitted everything up. We've bled the brakes. We're just going to get rid of this excess brake fluid now. Just use your spanners um, from an 8mm to a 17mm. You just got some various sizes from your caliper sliders to your brake lines um, and yeah you'll be right remember the torque specs for these are between 14 and 24 foot pound and don't forget to use loctite on your your nuts but other than that that's it we're going to get the wheels back on and then go bed these brakes in final process now is to bed in the the brakes <clears throat> i'm going to prioritize the discs and what they say um, so i went on the dba website and they said to do eight to 10 stops from 50 to 60 kilometers. Well, slow downs without actually stopping with moderate pressure. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna wait until a bit of a flatter area. I'm just gonna have to do a few laps, I think. So, that initial press was a bit better than the standard. These are just moderate slowdowns without stopping. That's two. Brake pedal feels a lot better than it did with, with the standard pads and lines and discs. Whereas before you would you'd press it and it'd give it disconnected. And it'd give it a bit of a bite. Um, or sometimes you press it and it wouldn't bite for a while and then it would. Um, this seems quite consistent so that that's a lot better that's what I was hoping for I've lost count now say so it's about eight
so that's about eight to ten I did lose count and they say to do two more um, 60 to 70 kilometers an hour and with a bit more of a firmer push on the pedal so So according to the DBA specs for the discs, that should be the brake discs bedded in and the pads shouldn't be too far behind. They're the Forza FP3 brake pads. I didn't look up the specs to bed them in but I think by the time I drive up and down the mountains a few times and by the track day they should be well and truly ready to go. But the brake pedal feeler, these are brilliant. It's a great combo with the braided lines, the discs and the pads. It's exactly, exactly what you want. Nice predictable press on the brake pedal and good linear stopping power brakes are done and they look awesome for a standard upgrade using standard size discs and standard calipers um, I think that they're going to be pretty good the pedal feel straight away felt really good um, the standard feel of the pads and the discs and the lines and just everything's just pretty inconsistent and I found that from you the um, Sometimes you press the pedal and you know you get it all at once it would sort of bite and jerk on and Sometimes you press it and nothing had happened and then you press it a bit more and then all of a sudden you'll get you know all that brake that you've already pressed and um, Just made especially in traffic made it pretty um, pretty tough to drive so um, Yeah, nice and easy install when you've got two mechanics doing it they doing one on each side and um yeah, flew through it, got it all done in a couple of hours. Um, and you saw me bed the discs in. So hopefully that's got the pads starting. And then yeah, I've got about a week and a half until a track day. So I've got time to bed those pads in as well. Um, but, you know, first first reaction, first thoughts on it is pretty, they're pretty good. They're heaps better than standard. So I'm looking forward to being able to stomp on them with a bit of confidence, especially down the end of... Um, down the end of the straight, you've got a really fast turn one, and then you come into turn two at Sydney Motorsport Park, and it's it's like a hairpin, but it's got a little bit of an extra fish hook at the end where it comes back around on itself. Um, so it's a little bit more than like a straight 180 degree hairpin. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know what brake setup you guys have got. Let me know if you've got the same setup as me or a similar one, and and how you found it. So. Alright, on, on to the track day now. Cheers.